Oh my goodness. I'm glad I'm getting a chance to film this video, even though it will be very short because I thought that I would be in labor by the time that I'm filming this. But by the time you are watching this, I am in fact in labor. This was pre-filmed and I wanted to put this up when I was in labor to kind of let you guys know what's going on. Um, I follow Brittany Balin and she did this on her channel and I just really thought it was a great idea. So here we are. I am <laughs> so freaking pregnant. I'm 39 weeks right now and this just feels like it's just taking over my life. Um, so yeah, basically if you're watching this right now, I am either at home in labor before I go to my birth center or I am already at the birth center. And hopefully I have a big glass of red wine in my hand. <laughs> I do plan on filming and vlogging my birth experience. Um, my birth plan and whatnot, I will link for you guys below. It's a plan, of course. Hopefully I can have the unmedicated, you know, birth experience that I'm looking for. So if you're interested in seeing what that's all about, then I will leave it for you below. But um, yeah, we're doing it guys. So <laughs> I am actually getting to the point where I'm focusing less on the fact that I'm like, while I'm filming this, that I'm scared and more like, okay, let's get this little gremlin out right now. I want to meet her and I'm sick of my cankles. Nick doesn't really know how to use a vlog camera super well, so hopefully he can help film this, uh, or film the birth rather, and that whole process, because I do want to share it with you guys. Um, but yeah, I will be posting on social media updates as I can. I know that you guys have been with me this entire journey throughout the miscarriage, throughout the scare in the beginning with this pregnancy. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link you to that below as well. Um, but I just wanted to thank you guys for all of the support, all of the love, all of the kindness, all of the, just everything that you've given us the last nine months and been there to support. And I know you guys are anxious to meet this little one as well. So we'll definitely um, be sharing her when she decides to make her debut. But until then, I'm gonna be sitting over here trying to do some like ball exercises to get her out. Today is actually May 2nd, and today is when I guessed that she would be born, but it's not really looking so good for my guess. <laughs> Nick's guess already came and went. He guessed the 28th. So we'll see when she actually comes. My actual due date is Mother's Day, which is May 8th. Eight is my favorite number, so that was kind of interesting, and I also thought it was interesting that my firstborn is supposed to be due on Mother's Day. So we'll see how close to that due date she actually falls. So keep an eye out on the community tab here on YouTube for picture updates, text updates, and then also on Instagram and Instagram stories. Uh, but yeah, um, any moment now, this little one will be breathing her first breaths of air. So I'm gonna cry because it's just like so, um, emotional. I also am nine months pregnant, but it's just been such a crazy journey and our lives are about to like change drastically. So, um, I didn't think I was going to cry during this, <laughs> but, um, very excited to share it with you guys and have you guys along for that journey. So thank you again so much for all your love, kindness, and support. And very soon we'll be introducing you to our little girl. We'll see you later.